I am pushing this AIO to its limits with the hottest CPU that you can purchase right now. And I specifically did that for a reason, because if this thing can keep the 13900 cool, it is going to keep every other CPU on the market cool as well. Getting a new CPU cooler that you've never used in the past is always going to be a risk because I myself and I imagine everybody else that's building a computer wants to keep their CPU cool so that the lifespan of that CPU is going to last. Forgot to say to like the video, subscribe to the channel, leave a comment. I hate saying it as much as you probably hate me saying it, but if I do not say it, like 1% of you will actually do it. Like, subscribe, leave a comment, all that good stuff. The only con that I have about this CPU cooler is that the first day for about six, maybe eight hours that I had the computer turned on, it was making this pssst, 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 and a little bit of like a wind noise. And I'm guessing that the pssst, pssst, pssst was just getting all the air bubbles out of the actual cooler. And then the winding was, I'm guessing that the pump on the actual AIO was just kind of configuring itself. I don't really know how else to actually end up explaining that, but it does need to be noted that the first day that I installed this thing, it was pretty loud and it was making noises. However, the past week that I've been using this thing, the noise has pretty much stopped. It does make a little bit of a noise every now and then, but I've never used an AIO that doesn't make the little pump wind noise. It's definitely not something that's gonna bug you or annoy you or anything like that except for the first day. So if you do end up getting this AIO, I recommend leaving your computer on for the full day, all day long, so that you can actually get the noises to stop. Manual that this thing comes with is pretty bad. However, if you go to YouTube and you look up how to set this thing up, it'll be there and you'll be able to guide yourself setting the actual CPU cooler up because the manual, I'm just being very honest right now, is horrible. It's very bad. It tells you what's in the box and that's pretty much it. It doesn't tell you how to do anything. It gives you a little bit of an idea to look at and then get an idea inside of your mind. Like, okay, this is for this, this is for that. You're gonna kind of have to figure it out. But overall, the cooler itself works really good.